Hello, it's Gary, buddy. This is uh, Eric and Dish, and um, I'm outside uh, my house. Um, I just want to do this uh, video because I want to uh, announce, want to thank everybody that has been with me uh, during this uh, past year. So this is my last video for 2020 on my YouTube channel. I just want to say that. As you know, it's all during my videos during this past year, I've kept quiet about the whole situation that's going on in this world. Well, now this is my last video for the year. I decided to um, let, every, let everything out. I hope uh, YouTube doesn't um, doesn't censor me for what I say because um, I'm gonna begin this uh, video with a. Uh, a phrase a, a wise a wise a wise man once said it ain't dark but it's getting close yet uh, I just want to say that I lost my job over this mess last March and I know the truth that this is the cold and doctors are getting censored for what they're saying like for example one doctor who did get through say it takes 800 years for viruses to, to kill people, and when I, I, and then, and then when, I, when that, when I read that, I said to myself, what, what, what about Maddox Johnson? Why is he still living after all these years after he had that thing in 1991 by announcing that he was retiring because he had HIV? I asked that question to my mom, and she wouldn't even give me a straight answer, and. I got this to show you. You can uh, I did this over the summer. Um, you can pause it over what 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 I've learned. Do you want to know a reason why? As you can see here, you want a reason why it shows the word COVID because it's it's Hebrew or technically a uh, Jewish for Kobe, as in Kobe Bryant. And then, as I wrote here, he he faked his death. Because not only start this agenda, but I believe that he had a, a dark secret in which I believe that he was among the list of, ce list of celebrities that were abusing children. And as what former athlete Marcus Rogers said in one of his YouTube videos from last May, he believes that this whole, th this whole disease thing is a distraction, that it is they're hiding the truth over which people have abused children. And as what Rogers pointed out to his viewers, he believes that whenever the truth comes out, the, the people are not going to look at movies, TV, and sports the same way uh, again. And I'm really disappointed by what's happened with this, also with the president's election. My mom said to me that, she told me a fact, that did you know that Air traffic controllers had to step down at the age of 50, at the age of 55, and as she said to me, and they want to let Joe Biden become president when he's almost 80 years old. And let me remind you this: that I lost my my, my grandfather's died, died in their 60s, and they they live rough lives. Um. And I was going to say that last year has been the most hardest. First, it was the whole BS story about Jeffrey Epstein. He didn't exist. And as that what one woman said on one of the YouTube comments, uh, said very, very eloquently, show me another billionaire that owned their island and I believe, believe the story. And now they're talking about this whole uh, stupid vaccine, even though I also know the truth that... The United States government has been sitting on a patent for a common cold cure for the last 50 years. And what did you know the patent was first first issued in 1968, given what happened that year? And as what Zachary Hubbard said on his YouTube page, you know, he does the gematria, he says that all the, the tyranny that's happened in this 21st century was planted in that year, 1968. Most notably, the World Trade Center was constructed the 911 system was first issued, and the first state to have it was Alabama, mainly because it was the first state appetized in the Union. And of course, it was the year in which 
George Wallace tried a rough president. He almost took away election from Richard Nixon. But anyway, um, there's also this uh, very nice, nice channel from YouTube uh, from Jason Bickford. He has several of them. He believes that the one percent that are behind this this whole scam is trying to ruin the world with with artificial intelligence, and he believes that Jeff Lawrence is being played by fifteen different 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 females. And he also brought his own personal experience in which uh, he was watching the news two years ago and he was shocked to see it. Someone was using his face for one of the people that were in the mugshot, meaning that the identity theft is taking a, is taking a turn, taking another scary turn. And one, one more fact, of course, I want to try to rant like, like Vic Dibeto. You should go check him out as well. But I just can't let all my emotions out. And here's another, another fact. You want to know the reason why it shows number 19? Because, because it refers to the number of years, as what Zuckerberg pointed out, in which the Earth resets its orbit with the moon. And if you go back, you'll notice it goes back to 2001, 1982, and 1963. And you can take a guess what happened two of those three years. While A2 is a dream because that was the year in which in which America suffered its worst unemployment in the, in the post the Great Depression era, and of course it was the year of, of when the AIDS disease rose up, and of course A2 was the year of the whole Tylenol controversy. Did you know I heard a rumor that serial killer John Gacy might have been involved, and yet, and yet they want to talk about and that means talk about a reset. When the truth is already happened in outer space, and even as I say this, we are having a uh, celestial event between Jupiter and Saturn, and you have to wonder just how believable is that. And Benjamin Franklin was right: if we don't, if we, if we give up liberty for for security, we we will lose both. And you know, and I know what he means by that. It means that we should not be tempted by the devil, because I'm still trying to figure out how that happened. How I went from having a job last February to just losing it in one month. Um, I don't know what else to say. So. That's about all I have to say uh, at this time. I just want to thank everybody for supporting me. Uh, have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you with the, the new tickets from the uh, Hoosier Lottery and Illinois Lottery. They'll take place in two weeks. I'm Eric Dish, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.